Hi, I'm your host for this interview with Behind the Set, where we had the opportunity to interview people with World Music and Independent Film at Greenbelt, Maryland, who were recently nominated for several of their short films. Best actor in the movie Ruby. I am Taos Benai from New York City. I uh, was nominated for the Crazy in Life. Of course, I'm Jane Chua, and um, I'm the lead actress and also the ex, uh, I mean, executive producer for uh, Rosemary's Fate. And I'm nominated for the Best Actress for WMIFF uh, 2019. Hi, I'm Gwen Rogers, and I am nominated for Best Actress in Deja Vu, which is a Master June film, and I'm looking forward to that. Hi, my name is Christian. Uh, <clears throat> I have yet to be in one of June's films, um, but I am a music artist and intend on working with him in the near future. I am Barbara Ramsey. I was nominated in a Table for Eight at the upcoming film festival uh, for supporting actors. Thank you. I'm Kazar Coleman. I'm an independent filmmaker. I was nominated for um, Best Director for my feature film, Ruby, and for um, Cinematographer for my short film. So June, why do people submit their films for those who do not understand the logic for submitting their films? What happens after they win the film? Uh, first of all, Rose, of that in your show. You're welcome. Uh, well, the festival is now running for 10 years. Uh, we started in, back in 2010. So in the beginning, uh, we only had probably less than 100 films submitted, short films, documentary, you name it, we have it. Uh, as year uh, gone by, you know, uh, the, the festival become an, an IMDb qualifying. So it's, it's an advantage for people who submit, filmmakers to submit a film, because they could easily uh, submit it uh, in IMDb and it would be accepted. Uh, it's international. We have over 40 countries submitted. Uh, to the festival, and we have some well-known um, A-list Hollywood actors also submitting. So it's the word of mouth, and that's where it started. And uh, it, it's an advantage to submit to the World Music Independent Film Festival because they will, of course, uh, expose their film, uh, whether in distribution or any other, uh, uh, you know, exposure from other uh, social medias. So you're able to explain the judging process how it works and how you critique the film? Uh, we established uh, this point system from one to five is the highest mark. 
and we have four categories uh, for judging the films. First is is the uh, film is could pull me in that when I'm watching it is like I'm in the you know I'm in the story. That's one of the category, and then from there we, the five points is when I watched the film I was totally pulled in, and I forgot that this is a movie. Four, number four, which is four point, is you know I was interested in uh, the uh, the characters, but not the story. Three points is I was interested in the story, but not indeed get into the characters, and then go down to the list like two. I was not interested at all with the movie. So it goes down with the points, and then the second part of the category of watching the f the film is is the uh, uh, the production side of it, whether the director uh, you know did such uh, an angle of camera angle or how they direct the uh, you know the actors. Again, the the system again is number five is excellent, four points is good, and then three points is uh, uh, you know. It's not too bad, but there's something missing. And then it goes down to the list, and then sometimes at the bottom of the list, which point number one is the director is too new. And then, of course, that is we look also in the screenplay. And then in the screenplay, we also go to the point system, where the screenplay, again, is really excellent, like a Hollywood material. And then good, but something missing by the t And then point three is like, OK. Uh, I got the story, but not quite. And then again, it's go back to the bottom of the points where the, the screenplay or the writer is just too new. And then go back to the port categories about distribution. If I am a distributor, definitely if the five point system is five is definitely I would distribute this probably worldwide or domestic. And go back to port could be just in, you know, in uh, DVDs or just plain you know, domestic, and then go back to the bottom of the list that I will never uh, distribute this film because yeah, it's not as good. How many people to the film? Well, every year we have several judges. I try to get as many judges. It's open now, and, and we pick the judges, whether they are directors, uh, cinematographer, writer, or anything. It's, it's, you know, the, I welcome them all. I, I do all watch all the films, and then I, I designate certain category to other judges for them to watch and then give them their feedback and then we go into the process of nominating and then we go to the point system. I just I try to get as many judges, it's open now and, and we pick the judges whether they are directors, uh, cinematographer, writer or anything is is you know, the, I welcome them all. I, I do all watch all the films and then I, I designate certain category to other judges for them to watch and then give them their feedback and then we go into the process of nominating and then we go to the point system. For short and feature zone, there will be two winners in this one for short and one feature, feature screenplay and the DMV. A lot of people are asking, what's DMV? DMV is a BC, Maryland and Virginia. And the winner is... So what can you tell us about the film that you were involved with? And what did you do? Well, uh, my character's name is Mark in uh, the film Ruby. And uh, I'm a typ uh, typical family uh, with problems, things that come, about, that come, uh, come into the family. And uh, a lot of times we use the wrong way to correct stress and stuff like that. And so you get a chance to see how this character actually comes, uh, goes down the road, the wrong road, as far as taking care of his, uh, his stress, his stress at work, stress at home. Um, I just wanna add, um, the film really touches me because it's, uh, it's, really? it's like a ministry because what happens is uh, you have the opportunity to show yourself to the masses, and, and I know some people will be able to no, no, touch no, uh, touch and agree with me as far as having this issue and see which way not to go as far as helping themselves with stress. 
pretty much, I become a drinker. <laughs> So I'm celebrating my 10th year in the industry. Um, writing Ruby and His Fire My Faith, they both kind of, they're both inspiration films, but they have different focal points. I wrote Ruby, um, it's two stories. I mean, it has two focuses. One, Ruby, the character. She's a young, she's a young lady, she's getting older, she's lonely. She's looking for the right guy. You know, so this is a relationship based for her. With her mom and dad, um, Betty and Mark. Um, Betty's the strong mom trying to maintain her family. Mark is the wildfire. <laughs> he's the one, he's out there, he's um, kind of um, pushing, pushing it down a little bit. He falls a little bit into a little bit of a promiscuity and alcoholism. What I tried to do with writing the film was to represent someone who's struggling in those areas. And I wanted them to see themselves and then see a way out. So that's kind of the focus of the film. Uh, His Fire My Faith is about the music industry, the, um, the gospel music industry, and the struggles that come with that, just trying to work your way through uh, progressing. So for me, I also play, I'm, I'm an actor as well. I started as an actor for <laughs> director. So I play Rodney, his pain in the butt, um, buddy, <laughs> constantly trying to stir him back in the right direction. So what did you learn and how did you feel playing with these well, roles? What I learned uh, with the character um, Mark is um, it pretty much uh, extended my skills as an actor because I was able to bring in so many known, I like to say, family members, mm -hmm. as far as that, um, my uncles, my aunts, my cousins, uh, because in, in the beginning of acting, uh, I was thinking that the, the, the hardest acting would be is to play like you're a, an alcoholic, a, a drunk. And uh, I just took those things and I remember growing up and, and running into those people who drank a lot and those things just kicked right in, and uh, it, it worked. Uh, looking back over it, you know, I know a lot of actors don't like to look over it, but I, I like to critique myself. And so looking at it, I saw that I was really messed up. <laughs> I was really messed up. How did you feel playing that character? Did it resemble any part of you? Um, it, it resembled uh, being a, uh, retired military member, it uh, resembled the pain of, uh, uh, I mean, just seeing other, uh, other soldiers and, and, and people go through stress and some stress of my own. So that was a little bit of myself in there and dealing with stress. And that's why, you know, uh, I love to work with Kazar because his ministry and my ministry are the same. Uh, you know, we want to touch people and actually um, help people get through those things. Because a lot of times, you know, the men are not like the women. The women, they talk about, they can talk about anything. Men can spend 20 minutes in the same room and never say a word, but just look, mm, you know, <laughs> something to that effect. So, um, so I, I'm trying to touch, touch the people in this, in this form. The Ruby was, um, my inspiration came off of a previous film, Growing Up in Two Generations which was kind of based off of my family history. So personally, I can relate to what I was what I was writing about, but you know, I wanted to tweak it a little bit just to make it a little more entertaining. Um, my role kept my role Rodney, his best friend. I was a bully, but I was a best friend and I was a tough friend. I was, I was just a big guy, um, weightlifter, you know, trying to push my weight around a little bit, but at the same time, knock him on the head to get him straight. So, and I think I was successful. <laughs> but so when I, when I develop characters, I, I try to um, develop meaningful characters that, like I said, that folks can relate to. Um, sort of a surprise with this one, with the Ruby film, is as I began to film some of these scenes, I didn't realize that some of the characters, some of the actual cast, we're going through some of those things. So they were kind of relating to some things that I kind of have to pull them back a little bit. Um, so it's always great to um, 
just see people progress. You know, that's that's my thing to encourage one another. So. Good evening, everybody. And uh, Jade and I are here to announce the winners for best costume. And um, Jane, you can start reading because I can't see. <laughs> All right. So nominees for best costume. Four dancers' dreams. Elena, I hope I say this right. Shat, Shat, Kovaka, Panar, Girl, <laughs> and Kshon Ruka Osun, the goddess. Sio Rabio. Who knows? The goddess. And of course, Yoshi Louis across. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And. The winner is, <coughs> girl, open that up. <coughs> Hurry up, Jane. <coughs> my sister, we kid who went alive. Ready, let's do it together. You gotta, there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> well, what is that? You wanted to spend. Give me a paper. <laughs> <laughs> she played too much. <laughs> The winner is Soon Rabi Asun the Goddess. Uh, basically, um, you know, um, I'm an artist. I'm a stage performer as a singer. So uh, being in this uh, movie, I mean, this film, and it was the first time that I'm doing my acting. And um, I feel like uh, there's no difference between singing in front of a thousand of people and also in the camera. When the, the only thing that you know I learned, it was really different when like someone is following you, the, 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 the cameraman, you know. And you know when I sing in front of the people, just the camera is just in front of you, you know, you steady there. But like doing this film, like you know, uh, doing the filming during the filming, and the the the, uh, the cameraman like gonna follow you. I feel like, oh my God, what's going on? Give me more time. I can pay you some next week and the rest later. Where's my money? I don't have the money to pay him. How much do you owe him? A hundred thousand dollars. What? Just one year. And then when you get your green card, you can divorce him. I'd rather stay here in the Philippines. I'm not marrying Blaze for a million dollar. <laughs> Well, marrying that guy's place, that may be a good option for her. Let's say he's a dirty cop. He knows how to work the system. God, I don't want to go to jail. I don't have money to pay Blaze or your cousin. You can't force my sister to marry you. And where are you going to get the money? Chris, please, let me handle this. There's $5, and I'll take your Bible. No. You know, that's a really little gun you have there. You know what? Mine's a lot bigger. Shut up! I'm DEA. He's Border Patrol. Joint Task Force. You guys are dirty cops. You can go to jail for this. Okay. You want us to go clean? You both go to jail. <laughs> It's, you got it all tied down, so. Okay. Can we untie it? 
Uh, what do you want to do? You want to we'll just it? move it over to center it's, so we can get Rose in there, too. Oh. Yeah, I'm dying. Or just, uh, just move it that way. Just, you got to tie down there, too. Oh. Test test. Hello. enjoyed being in a few projects with June. Um, what can you tell us about Serial One? Uh, episode One, that's a Serial Madness. It's kind of, uh, it's a short, it's a short, it's kind of, uh, it p pretends to be, it's kind of scary, but in a, in a not a real horrible, scary way. It's a lo it actually a lot of, it was actually a lot of fun. And uh, you, you can see it on a, uh, Distrify Media, and um, it's a lot of fun. I'd recommend it. I, I could hardly keep a straight face when I was. <laughs> I'm supposed to be be scary, but I, <laughs> I, was so, I had a lot a lot of fun doing it with all the all the June's projects. So acting is your outlet. Uh, how did you get into it in the first place? I've always I've always enjoyed, and then I, when I was finally uh, re released from my government, <laughs> I retired and did was the good girl and did all the. And then I, I took an acting class, and, and that night, I remember it, it felt like uh, these are people I can fit in with. I can't, I can't believe and had a ball after that. And then I ended up at the Little Theater of Alexandria, and I got a, a lot of support uh, from there, and uh, which, which helped me a lot, a lot of support. And uh, I, I remember one night we were, doing, we were doing a scene, and I felt, I felt so good. I usually... I took I took the I took the bus from Alexander to my home. I remember that one particular night after a particular scene. I was I didn't even touch the payment. I, I was I was which was a that's when it was all. And I'm alone on the bus that that night. Uh, I usually wouldn't say I'm an act actor, but, but that night I felt something. Maybe I, I'm I'm an actor. And I looked there were hardly anybody on the streets. And that, that night I felt. Kind of different and, and amazing. I don't know. It's like I found. It's a beautiful feeling to realize your talent. Maybe finally, in a weird way. <laughs> Has acting helped you at any form of your life? It, it helped me a great deal to find. Uh, I guess the most amazing people it seems are the actors that I found. They're, they they don't judge and they're just a, as amazingly safe place where I could maybe grow. And uh, I, that was the best. That's the best times I've had. And uh, now I'm now I'm doing, I'm doing extra work. And you know, there's something will come out of the blue. I never I never followed um, a, a path or something. It's weird with me. Something will come out of the blue. I feel like I'm the tortoise in the hair. I'm like the tortoise. Whenever I feel like oh, the, you know, I'm gonna give this up. Something will come out of the blue. Hey, I saw you in this. Oh, okay. Well, something out of the blue, and it keeps me in. The game and it is fun. Why not? <laughs> so you definitely have a passion for acting. Yes, and That's yes. great. It's a good passion to have. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 